Welcome back. So in the last video we left off saying that this plot probably isn't ideal. We've got a few subplots going on here and we've been using the pi plot method plotting directly from a pandas data frame rather than the object orientated method. And I'm sure you're wondering, you're going, Daniel, you've introduced so many different ways of plotting and you're telling us there's two ways of doing it and you're saying one is less ideal than the other. Which one should I use? And that's a perfectly great question. So which one should you use? PyPlot versus Matplotlib OO method. Now, there is no real definitive answer here. The documentation on Matplotlib will push you towards the OO method always. However, when plotting something quickly, okay to use the pi plot method right so what we've seen up here when you want to get a quick visualization maybe not something like this but definitely something like this it's okay to use the pi plot method that we've gone through in the last couple of videos but when plotting something more advanced use the oo method so we're going to see an example of that in this video something a little bit more advanced than just something singular like this. But if you're just making a quick plot like this, you just want to see the distribution of a column, it's perfectly okay to go dot plot. But now we'll see the OO method in action. Let's create a subset of our data frame so we can do a little bit of data analysis. Let's say we wanted to explore the patients which are over the age of 50. We only wanted to look at those patients. And we want to create a little bit of a plot and start to do some data analysis on those. So we'll create another data frame called over 50, which is equal to our heart disease data frame, which will get a little refresher here. So we know what it looks like. This is the kind of workflow you'll be going through is looking at your data frame and going, okay, my colleague or my teammates and my boss want to know what's some data analysis of our patients, which are over 50. So let's do that. We can access those by using Boolean indexing. So we want heart disease, actually we want to use the age column, which are greater than 50. Wonderful. And then we want to have a look at our over 50 data set. What have we got wrong here? Age, key error. Oh, I've used a capital A. That's all right. Wonderful. And we might check the length of this. 208, so we have 208 versus about 300 or so of the original data set. So that's fine, dot head, wonderful. And again, we've dropped out these two rows, so 37, 41, using our Boolean indexing. So now it goes 0, 3, 4, 5, 6, but the rest of the columns are still the same. How about we start with a scatter plot of the age and cholesterol, but we wanna color it with the flavor of the target column. Well, that's a lot going on there. Let's see the code first and then uh, we'll figure it out from there. Over 50 dot plot kind equals scatter. And then we want X equals age. And then we want Y equals, we want the cholesterol column, which is this one here. C-H-O-L is short for cholesterol. And then we want to color it using the C. So C is short for color via the target column. So we want plot. Kind, scatter, yes, that makes sense. X, age, Y, col, or chol, cholesterol. Kind of a hard word to say, C-H-O-L. And the color is target. Let's see what happens. All right, so we can kind of see what's going on here. We've got chol on the Y, that makes sense. The X doesn't really show us much, and C is giving us this color bar to show us that because target has values of zero or one for if someone does have heart disease or they don't. Does this look okay to you? To me, it doesn't look very good. It's doing what we want it to do. It's got different dots on here if they're a target value of zero or one, but it doesn't show us anything on the x-axis and these colors aren't really that great. So let's spruce things up a little. And how can we do that? With the OO method. So this is the pi plot method, AKA plotting directly from a pandas data frame with plot. Now let's do OO method. We're gonna recreate this, but using the OO method. So let's go fig, axe, we've seen this before, plt.subplots. 
and we might go fig size just to have some practice adjusting the size of our figures and we'll go 10 6 we want a width of 10 and a height of 6 these are in inches by the way i believe so over 50 dot plot and this is going to look very similar to what we've done up here but there's one slight difference kind equals scatter wonderful now we could copy and paste but we're not going to do that because we're in the habit of writing out code y equals chol or col c we use the target column as color and then the last part is the axe parameter so when we're using the oo method with pandas the plot function gets this axe parameter to tell us hey we're using the oo method and we want you to plot this data on this axis the one we've just created so let's see that in action axe we'll put a little semicolon at the end beautiful so what we've done is we've recreated the same plot but it's already looking a little bit better it's bigger because we've put the fig size parameter in there and now because we've passed the axe method we've now got this age column which has been labeled beautiful actually we might give this one a chance and say hey let's up this fig size and see if it does the same thing equals 10 6. we still don't have the age x label there well the oo method is already pulling out ahead now what we might do is we set the x limit to be a bit wider so we can have more space on our data frame so let's have a look what that looks like if we're using the oo method we can access the axis here and remember the axis is just this space that we're plotting data on if we go back to the figure of our anatomy of a matplotlib figure or plot axis is this part here where we're adding data whereas figure is the entire thing so let's go back we want ax dot set x limb to be 45 100 can we figure out what this does before we even look at it so set x limb we could do shift tab but i want you to just have a think about it so ax set x limb 45 100 so that's all right if you didn't get it if you press shift tab and read it you cheated a little that's also fine that's actually a good thing to do is start exploring what shift tab does but this is going to change the limitations of our x-axis to be from 45 to 100 instead of what it is now which is about 50 to 80. so let's see what happens so you see how we've got like a lot more white space over here now because we've upped the x limit but if we didn't want to do that we could comment that out and that looks a bit better just given an example of how you could quickly adjust the, the limitations of your axes if they don't look too good but matplotlib is generally pretty good at creating axis limits that are suited to whatever data that you're using now this plot is okay but it definitely could look nicer so this black and white is kind of hard to get this color bar is not really offering much at all so let's take a little break there and in the next video we'll make this plot look a little bit nicer and we'll build off what we've already done here.